Hey guys, Tattoo For You, Richard here, and it's time for the Monday update. And question and answers. Today we're going to answer some questions. And we're going to show what I've been doing. Updates. Updates. I got some. I'm sure I do. Hmm. First, I have a review video coming. Nope, can't talk. Sorry. <clears throat> I have a review video coming out tomorrow in place of my uh, terrain update because my terrain is still sitting exactly where it was sitting last week. I'm waiting on some primer. I got to get some primer, some big can of black primer, um, which my wife's going to scoop up from the store to me today on the way for, from the store for me today on the way home. Why in the heckers was that so hard to say? <sighs> um, had a lovely birthday weekend. It was super fun with the family. Um, my brother did get get me a soul sucking life stealing gift, which I appreciate. Fallout Four, baby. <laughs> But I'll still be making content, so don't worry. It won't steal that much of my soul. Um, I, ha I said I have the review video coming out in place of the terrain thing. I'll give you a little peek of uh, what it's for. Ooh, look at that. Scratchy, scratchy. <laughs> but you'll see that tomorrow. Um, Malifo update. Started painting my Molly figure. See if it focuses on her. Probably not forward facing cameras uh, I'm still working on it I, oh, it's, it's so tiny it's so tiny but it's bigger than my towel but she's so delicate look at that little arm and her little feet oh, look at that little foot man can you see a little foot I can't. my hand's in the way I can't even see the foot I, I gotta pin that to a base somehow man can I get a drill bit in there what did I do? But I'm gonna work on her a little bit more. I'm I'm almost done. I just need to figure out the glow effect on her little thing on her hand. Cause it's awesome. But I don't know. Uh started I primed my the tiger shark. Didn't notice that there were some bubbles inside the cockpit, and when I started painting it, I just painted it all up. So apparently I didn't get the mold release off good, which is kind of okay that I noticed that ahead of time, because I'm starting the town R this week. Um, so at least that I noticed it, I can re-soak the town R and make sure it's good and done. If any of y'all worked with, if any of y'all, that's just a silly question. I've seen tons of y'all's videos with Forge World on it. I have Dettol. Should I give it a light soak in water and Dettol? I have tons and tons of Dettol because, <clears throat> well, Tattoo, that's what we use to put stencils on because they stick on really good. But I use it for stripping minis down too. And I was just wondering, would that be good to give it a light soak in Dettol and water to remove some of that mold release? Yay or nay? Um, so, what else am I going to be doing this week? Hopefully finishing the terrain piece, I hope. Starting the Town R video series, it's going to be a progression series, so... You're not going to get to see, oh, look, he got the town R start and finished in one day. That took a 17-hour video. No. Um, I'm going to do it bits and pieces at a time. We'll do videos of each piece. Even have a basing video because I want to work on a really cool base. This is a centerpiece model, you know, and you want to make sure it looks like that. So I'm going to take some time on it. Plus, I've kind of entered a contest in an eBay on a, on a Facebook group. And I said that I was going to use it as my entry. Why do I do this to myself? <laughs> Sorry. Ah, 
Anyway, let's do some questions. Let's do some questions. Neener, neener, neener. Neener, neener. All right, we have up first on top of the list, Idik Beer. Great vid, dude. Good to hear the channel and the hobby has helped. Have you ever tattooed someone's eyes? And what is your opinion on body modification? Oof. You and your questions that could be videos in themselves. No, I have not tattooed anybody's eyes. I think it's idiotic and stupid. The pigment, the tattoo ink pigment has alcohol in it. Isopropyl alcohol. Along with other pigments. Um, to use, I wouldn't put that in my eyeball. The people that are getting that done, you don't know the long term effects of it. You know, tattooing, I love it. I love body art. I love uh, piercings and things like that in general. Um, I love it for a personal fact. Like, uh, uh, how, how should I say this? I love getting them for yourself. When you start doing it as a shock factor, just to go, look at me, are you afraid? That, man, that, come on, dude. That You're just setting us back a bit. <laughs> You know, we, we're we just people like everybody else. We just happen to enjoy getting tattooed. We happen to enjoy getting piercings. Some people out there who are getting bottom up body modifications that alter your body to a point that you could cause problems. Like those, like cats who, I've seen cats with cheek piercings, no big deal. But then I see those extreme cats who stretch their cheek piercings out so much that there's literally a hole on the side of their cheek. Your mouth is supposed to be closed for a purpose. You know, um, you let your mouth dry out. That's not a good thing. You're letting your gums dry out. You're causing problems with your gum lines, your, your, your teeth, things like that. It's not supposed to be put to the daily, uh, everyday uh, elements outside. That's that's not a good idea. But you did it for a shock factor. I This is, this is my opinion, guys. I mean, you got it done cool whatever but just this is the way i see it and i don't i just don't think it's a good thing you know uh tongue splitting yeah it's a it's a shock factor it's cool but there could be issues in the long run with it man think think before you leap you know i mean yeah i mean i i even tell people that with tattoos man think about it you know you're getting a tattoo this is a permanent thing i I, for the longest time, would refuse people who wanted to get things on their hands. I would never tattoo a face on anybody unless you were heavily tattooed. If you had full sleeves, tattoos on your neck, and you wanted something on your face, fine. I didn't care. But if you came in and you had two tattoos, one on your shoulder and one on your, your thigh where nobody can see it, and you said you wanted something on your face or your hands, no. Even wedding ring tattoos, I would I would pause and I'd be like, look... Tattoos aren't something that you're going to walk around every day with and people are going to appreciate and people are going to look at them and, and not judge you. This is a judging world we live in and you have things like that, you're you're judged instantly. So think about it. I'll ask them four times throughout the process of, of getting ready if they really want to do this and if they're down to the last point of it, if they want to do it, then I'll do it. Same for significant others' names. You know, I don't, I don't have anything on my, from me about my wife, uh, tattoo, her name tattooed on me. I have my kids' names, that's it. But my wife, I let her tattoo me. She did this little heart with a 13 in waves, because 13's are a lucky number. I love her, and she's a, a Aquarius. So, <clears throat> Aquarius, not Aquarius. I'm an Aries, and, well, we're an Aries and Aquarius together. That's an Aquari, Aquarius. Huh. Anyway, sorry, I rambled on about that. But, yeah, I'm... I'm I tattooed for 12 years and I take it seriously, man. And I've been in that industry for, uh, for a long time. And even though I'm on hiatus right now, I still, I'm still in it. So, I uh, anybody out there getting a tattoo, dude, think about it, man. Think about it. Get it. If you want it, don't be afraid of it. But think about the steps you're taking and what you're getting into. Um, I hope that, that answers your question, but I could go deeper. Uh, Big Mac Dan Skull, Daniel Gibbons. Great vid, mate. Do you play with Legos as a? Did you play with Legos as a kid? And if so, do you get tempted to buy 
any now when you see it in stores or online. <laughs> Dude, do you watch my videos? As a... Have I grown up yet? Seriously? Seriously? See, Daniel? This man still plays with Legos. What are you talking about? I love me some Legos! Granted, they're all my kids' Legos because I spend too much money on hobby stuff to buy my my own Legos. Or else there'd be Star Wars stuff everywhere. Everywhere. I'm telling you. That and pirate Legos, those are the best. I, I honestly, I want now, I want the Lego train, the little monorail one. Um, I can't remember which one it's called, but I want that because I want to build it. And then I want to turn it and make it look like a grav. I want to make it like a grav train, gravity, you know, train, like, like have it. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, I want to make it look cool and make it a towel thing for my big tower Rama that I want to build someday and have that like go throughout the whole CL oh, man, dude, don't Lego me started, buddy. <laughs> Thanks for the question, dude. Uh, so yes, I want to buy tons of stuff, but they're horrible to step on. Awful to step on. Um, Tabletop War Zone. Glad to hear the channel helped you. Keep up the great work, buddy. Do you watch any anime series? If so, what is was is was your favorite anime series? Do I I love anime. I don't get to watch it that much because um, I don't have like a lot of access to it like I used to. Um, Netflix is getting pretty good about it. A lot of stuff's popping on there. They have Death Note. I really want to watch that because I've read quite a bit of the story. Well, a good chunk of the manga. And I just love the whole... Th it's a book. If you write in the book a name, that person... <coughs> if you write chokes on pudding, they will choke on pudding. Oh, it's so awesome. I, I saw a, a joke. Somebody was writing, Justin Bieber and a heart. And, and then, then the next picture, they shut the book and it said Death Note. I was like, oh my gosh, sorry. I don't wish death on him, but that was hilarious. Um, man, I'm amped. 38, I'm not getting old, I'm getting younger. Sorry. Um, no, yeah, Death Note would be cool. My favorite of all time is Robotech. That's my favorite series. Um, I'm sure Macross Macro was way better, but I honestly have not seen the Macross series. Like... The legit original. Um, Akira is my all-time favorite anime movie. And I scooped up the uh, re-release of it when it came out a while back. When I worked at the comic book store. That had the redub. So it was like they legitimately got down and, and translated it. And dubbed it almost word for word for the, trans, for the original translation. And it, to me, it was like watching a whole new movie because so because it changed quite a bit, but it's still amazing. That that's that's by far my favorite movie. Um, and Rurouni Kenshin, Samurai X. He's 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 a cool thing. I like his OVAs, not so much the 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 TV series because it's a bit too cartoony. Um, but I like the move the the legit original miniseries. It's pretty cool. And then uh. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Full Metal Alchemist. Me and my kiddos got into Full Metal Alchemist on uh, Netflix. We were watching through it, got all the way to like four episodes left, and Netflix pulled it. But then they finally brought it back, and we could finish it. That was a pretty good series. Um, Chief Live Gaming. Uh, hey man, I really enjoyed listening to your Q and A. I just wanted to say that I had a similar experience with starting my YouTube channel. I was in a motorcycle accident and was seriously injured, depression, etc. I felt like you were telling my story there for a while. Glad to know you came out of it on the end. Yeah, thanks, man. Um, things happen in our lives, dude, and we just and sometimes we can't. We just don't know how to. It, well, we're human. I mean, what what can we do? The, the world's a rough, tough place, and we've got to work on. Uh, Part of our our journey is figuring out how to how to deal with things and grow from it, and sometimes we just can't. Sometimes it's hard. It's hard. We need some help, and that's it's good that this hobby helped you too, man. 
Um, his question, how have you enjoyed the your Dice Head game box so far? Would you pay for it again if you could go back? Um, honestly, I, I'm still, I've still I've subscribed to it. Um, I'm on a monthly subscription. Um, it's a bit much. Uh, I've got a little bit of money tucked away still in PayPal. So I'm probably going to get at least a couple more months beforehand. Uh, I need to get back on to putting stuff on eBay. I've got so many comic books that got to go up, but but I really enjoy it. I like it. I've I've been pleased so far with everything that's come out of it. I think there's one box I didn't. I was like, eh, this is. It, I got my money's worth, but you know, it wasn't as cool as I thought. So, um, yeah, no, definitely, it's a it's a fun box. I like it. Oh, hold on, I gotta All pause, right, guys. Now. I'm back. Sorry, the little feller's room was calling me. I had to shut him up. So. Let's go to the next questions. We have Wargamer Sean, my man. Hey, man, good to hear from you. Fallout 4 will suck away so much of your time. Yes. Yes. So I found out already. Let me know once you're set up. You'll have to PM me your call tag on Facebook. Already have. I think I even friended you on Xbox. Uh, it's been a while for me playing RPG games, but some of the last were Rifts and the Heroes part of the game. I haven't, I didn't play the Heroes part. We thought about bringing it in, but we never did. What is your favorite part of the area you live in in Texas? What is your favorite local food? Favorite part of where I live is I am right down the road from a lake. There's a lake right there. It's it would be more of my favorite part if I was able to get in the lake again, but since I can't walk well and uh I can't get in there, man, I love swimming in a lake. Dude, I just love I love swimming, period. If we had a pool, I'd be in it every day. So But yeah, no, I like it because we're we're close to a lake and it's it's in our neighbor where we are at right now, our our neighborhood and our area is really quiet and a lot of trees. I love trees, man. I love I love a shaded front yard, you know, little spots of sunlight peeking through, but I love the shade, man. I love it it feels like you're in the country in the woods, but you're not cuz you've got a house right across the street. So, uh what is my favorite local food? Hmm. That's a tough one, man, because I mean, they're they're Local, like legit local homegrown food is getting hard to find nowadays because everything's franchised out so much. Um, a lot of those places are starting to die off. You know, you got Texas Roadhouse. Yeah, it's Texas Roadhouse, but it's just a steak joint. You don't get that good. Mm, there was a, there was an Arlington Steakhouse. I, I, I live in Highland Village, but I grew up in Arlington. And it's like 20, 30 minutes away. But that place made the best steaks from local cattle. Oh, it was a good joint, man. Uh, it closed down. Another one that closed down that was really good in Arlington. Oh, man. Jim's Steakhouse. I mean, oh, sorry, not steak. Jim's Hamburgers. Man, that cat, he... Okay, first off, he was a cool, awesome little Asian dude. Oh, man, he rocked. Little short guy. Everybody called him Big Jim. The building was like the size of a small room. Like you walked in and literally it was a little row of uh, booths and then like a little board that they nailed to the wall and stuck a couple little stools underneath and dust in the windows. It was just, it felt like a dive dirty joint you didn't want to go in. But lunchtime, the little outside window was crowded, inside was crowded, you, you, you'd have to order your food in advance. The the burgers were so good, man. They just the fries were were top notch too, cause they they made everything there. But those burgers, man, oh, the seasoning he put on them, I I I well, I'm I'm sure it had MSG in it, and that stuff MSG just stands for make good. Hmm. Sorry, cause it tasted good, but oh man, that place rocked, dude. But sadly, it's not around anymore either. They they bought up that whole area, and he apparently he supposedly he owned another restaurant, but a little upper class, like nicer. 
So he just went strictly to dealing with that and just shut down gyms, which is sad because it was a good little joint, man. Um, yeah, other than that, man, I mean, uh, local, like Dickie's Barbecue, that's a good thing, but I'm not even sure. I, th- I believe it's Texas born Waterburger. How can I forget Waterburger? What a burger. Let me tell you, if you never had it, come to Texas and eat it. It's delicious. So, yeah, no, it's it's good, man. It's a Southern Barbecue. Top notch, man. I make myself a pulled pork. Cooks all day. I usually get up at like 4 o'clock in the morning. Pop that thing in the oven and let it cook until 6 o'clock at night. It is... Don't mean to brag. I apologize for bragging. But man, it is good. Throw some coleslaw on it. A little little pulled pork sandwich on some Hawaiian sweet rolls. Mm -hmm. I see a pulled pork not in our future. Thanks, buddy. A lot of work for that. Next is 33 Clay Dog. Great update, man. Sorry I haven't been able to watch and comment on your videos lately. Bro is crazy. Sorry, I don't like cussing that much. Um, Personal thing. I'm just trying to quit. I used to cuss like a sailor. I don't do it anymore. Much love back at you. So He didn't really have a question, but a nice comment nonetheless. So I'd share it. At the police, Elise. Well, that's weird. Anyway, on to the last question. Very interesting about your channel. How your channel helps you. Oh, snaps. All right, guys. Dramatic pause for effect. Police officer just stopped in front of our house. He didn't get out or anything. But it always makes you wonder, what did I forget about? Nothing. Um, anyway, I'm sorry. I had to pause, really, because I started reading questions and I didn't call out. Pete, I'm sorry, buddy. I apologize. Mini Warzone. Pete, I love you, man. I don't, I'm sorry. I just jumped right into your question. It was just exciting. I'm sorry. So, Mini Warzone. Pete! Very interesting about how your channel helps you. It's the same for me and my M M M. Sorry. There. Same for me and my MS. When I'm hobbying, I forget that I I've got it, and it's such a wonderful therapy. My neurologist says that it's probably the best hobby I could have for my condition. So that's pretty awesome in my book. That's truth. Yeah. Pausing. Pause, 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 pause. Okay. Uh, Why do I have to pause? Okay, my question for this week. Who would you rather fight? Whoops. I need to read more. Who would I rather fight? Everyone. No. Um, Predator or aliens from the movies? I think alien because I like the foe I can see as opposed to the one I can't. Um, yeah, that's probably it. I mean, alien has the numbers. But still, you can eventually dwindle down the numbers, in my opinion. You've got someone who's some a critter you can't see. You're, you're probably going to get got if you're not careful. He's just too slick at it. And I'm not that good. Um, yeah, I say Alien. Alien. Man, those are good movies. I want to see some more. So Keep up the great work, man. I certainly will. Well, I'll try anyway. Um, well, that's it for the questions, man. I really appreciate everybody. Um, there is another little update I saved for the end of this. Um, you, you'll you even see it at the end of this video. Later on, it'll be starting at the beginning of the videos. 
But I am now a le- member of the Legion of Gamza. I kind of woke up to a birthday surprise with an invitation to join. Yeah! Uh, oh, no, that's elbow. I can dig it! Thanks, guys. I really appreciate the uh, the opportunity to join a great community and be a part of it and do my best. <laughs> that's all I can do. Um... I'm just me, and I'm trying to be the best me that I can be. So, with that being said, I really appreciate it, and I thank you so much for allowing me to be a member of the Legion of Gamza. Um, so, yeah, guys, I love you. You're amazing. I really appreciate everything. Please, please, please. Actually, I was going to say something else there, and then the other thing popped Well. Pretty please like, comment, subscribe. Feel free to ask more questions. By by all means, ask away. I don't care. Um, but please, please, please keep up the dice rolling, keep up the card turning, and keep up the brush flicking. And anything else you do in this hobby, and you love one another, and and keep the community great, man. And definitely always keep on rocking that nerd life, my friends. I'll see you next time. Keep on rocking that nerd life. Yeah, rock that nerd life. Yeah.